Ciao boy sang. Good morning you guys. Today we are going to be harvesting some yun or water coconut. That's the English translation. I don't think it's even a coconut. I believe it's a palm, a ni palm, N-I-P-A, palm. But regardless, we're gonna get some and we're gonna make some Vietnamese dishes with it and try it out. You're probably wondering what happened to all my hair. Yes, I decided to cut it all off. I did make a video, however, it's not on this YouTube channel, but if you guys want to see the video, I'll put the link in the description below, and I'll comment with my second YouTube channel. You guys, forgive me, filming on a boat is actually quite hard, because it's super shaky and everything moves, but let's get started right now. I don't know if you guys can see this yet. You guys see the spider right there? Those spiders are everywhere. Crawl over the boat, get on me, everywhere. Because they hang on these palm trees and you go through them, especially like the low hanging ones and you get spider webs and spiders all over you. So if you don't like spiders, you probably won't enjoy this that much. <laughs> All right, so I see some palms right here, you guys. So we're gonna take the boat over. Down there you can see uh, one, maybe two palms. All right, you guys see them right here? There's a nice little spider. <laughs> oh, okay. So, all right guys, so <laughs> there's a ton of palms in here, so they're actually quite easy to find. Uh, but let me show you, uh, I think there's a spider on my back. There's tons of spiders out here. I don't know the name of them, but my friend said they're not poisonous, or excuse me, venomous. Um, yeah, let me show you the, the eunuch. All right, so you guys can see this one right here. It's much bigger. This one's a little bit smaller. Um, I don't, the water is going to start going out. The water is going to start going out soon. So I can't spend too long in the river because I'll get stuck and it's a pain in the ass. These are really cool plants. You'll often find them in coastal areas because these are the seeds right here. And when the water is low tide, they come out, the seeds go out. When the water comes back up, they move inland. So these things will be growing as far as the tide will take them in. So the river that I'm on right now, uh, I think we're probably maybe 100 kilometers. Actually, I have no idea from the ocean. So the thing is, these will come all the way out here and I'll even find them farther up or farther inland. So I'm gonna chop this one down right now. Uh, I'll try to just get this one because it's bigger and then we'll look for another one somewhere else. Okay, let me get it. Uh, all right. And these things are really heavy, you guys. They're not like, they're extremely dense. All right, I gotta squat down. All right. I think I'll pull it off right now. All right. You guys can take a look. So how heavy it is, I don't know, but I can weigh it later. There's a scale at my house. But it's quite heavy. I would say maybe 30, no, 30 kilos, maybe like 15, 20 kilos. So I'm gonna set it right there and we'll get one more. Actually, that didn't work so well, but it's okay. So now I have to go back out that way. Going in reverse. All right, we're gonna hit the back. Wait, 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 wait. Almost, almost, okay. Got it, let's go forward now. All right, I'm actually going to, I'm going to chop this one down because uh, this one will end up falling and it's going to be a problem later. So right now it's easy to get. Uh. All 
All right, ready? That's okay. It'll fall down. We got it, we're good. Oh, there's a squirrel. I don't ever see squirrels around here. Oh, a squirrel. Alright guys, uh, we're pretty much back. I'm gonna hit a palm tree right now. It's gonna stop me. I'm gonna put the boat back, take out the Yanook, take a shower, clean up, and then oosh, oosh. gosh, so many spiders. I've already found a few crawling on my head. Uh, what was I saying? So we'll just we'll chop open the coconuts in a little bit. But look at this one right there. This one's maybe uh, 10 kilos or so. That and my So this one right here, I'll say maybe uh, 20 kilos. This one, maybe uh, 10 kilos. So let's find out before we start chopping them up. All right, got the scale. Let's start with the small one first. I was off a little bit. Uh, that is almost seven, because this isn't kilograms. So, uh, six kilos and 900 grams. All right, the big one. I'm really bad at guessing these. This one's nearly 14, so 13 kilos and 900 grams. Okay, so now that we got the coconuts, you guys, we are going to be cutting these up and Soupsick will be joining. She's running around behind me somewhere trying to find lizards as always. I have to carry these back to my house and we're going to be trying and testing the Yuanuk or water coconut or Nipa palm. I don't remember the pronunciation, but let's do this. We are going to be making Yuanuk yum. I know yum, I think means pervert if it's a flat tone, but yum. Da dung. For my international audience, it's a, it's like a sweet drink made from these. I want to show you a close up real quick of the water coconuts. My Vietnamese audience probably already knows a lot about these, but for my international audience, um, each of these has its own individual fruit inside, which we'll be opening. This is extremely dense. This is a very, very dense, hard fruit, or it's a cluster of fruit. You guys can see inside. I can't wiggle these out, so I have to use my machete. These are individual seeds, and they do float. So this whole thing will be floating with the current because the rivers in Vietnam, since it's connected to the ocean and they're massive rivers, the tide can be immense. So this can drift in quite far. And then the seed will start and then grow. Water coconut plant, or Nipa palm. Komnya, but yes. Here's the handle, you guys can see. Bunch of dirt some spider webs, some very sticky, sticky uh, sap. I can't remember my English. 
Here's this one right here. Because you can see all the fruit, different sizes. But we are going to chop these up. I'm gonna be using my machete to open these up. This machete, I really like, it's very sharp, but I don't like the handle. It feels extremely weird in my hands. You can see my hands are rather callous. It's not really an issue, but how it, how it feels, it just doesn't feel secure. And I have to be really honest with you, I'm not sure how to open these up. I know how to open the individual seed or fruit, but to get it out, I'm not sure. I just need to get one out and then it's gonna be easier to take the rest out. But I gotta figure that out in this video. That's not working. So I'm just gonna hack at it and hopefully get a little chunk out and then I can just pull them out individually. All right, this isn't working so well either. I do have another idea. All right, that did the trick. Much easier. I feel quite stupid for doing what I did earlier, but you live and learn. That was super easy. Look at that. Here, you guys. That's super cool. But some of these are too skinny, so I don't think, imagine there's going to be a lot of fruit. So I have one more. Let's open this one too, but I'm going to put it on slow motion, so hopefully it looks cooler. So here's a bunch of little pieces. Here's the smaller one right here. And now we're gonna open one up and just kind of see what it looks like. So these tiny ones right here, I probably won't be using them because I don't think there's much of a fruit. I'll open this one up first and kind of see what's inside. But uh, I don't have high hopes for this one. A little nervous. Well, there's no fruit yet. So, so much for these. Let's go with the bigger one. Right here, you guys, that is the fruit we're trying to get. Since we're gonna be making a drink with these, I'll try it first. I've had this before. Here. Uh, let me get a spoon but I accidentally just placed it in the ground, so it has some dirt on it. But what do you guys like to say in Vietnam? Uh, what is it? Anh uh, Sao Lo, I think. Eat dirty, live long. Here, I'm trying to do this on camera. Call him, we'll All right, that wasn't supposed to happen. It fell, so it's a little bit more sandy now. But when you try it, I'm trying to think of a fruit that I can compare it to back in the United States. You know, it has a slight slimy texture. It's a uh, crunchy a little bit, um, but it is soft. It's not very sweet though. It's not a, a sweet fruit because the drink we're making, we're adding sugar to it. But uh, overall, it's not bad. They grow everywhere around my house, so. I can eat a ton of them. It doesn't take too long to get them. But let me uh, try to pop this one out for you guys. Come on. Let's see, there we go. There we go. Didn't drop that one. I don't know what fruit I can describe it to back in the United States. I don't know, I'll think about it and then maybe later in the video I'll, I'll think of something. Now we need to open a whole bunch. All right, guys, I got enough. Let me show you what it looks like from a different angle. So you can see kind of how it looks. Um, I am gonna wash it because my hands are a little bit dirty and this is quite sandy, so I need to wash it first. And then I'm gonna add some ice, sugar, and water. And you guys can probably see the scar from the whole 
that I had in my leg, but now it's okay. So no problem at all. But let me wash this up and then we're gonna make the drink. And I almost forgot, I used about half of this coconut. But these things last a really long time, so I can keep it for a few weeks. I think so. So I think these are washed enough. I'm gonna add the other ingredients right now. But you guys can see all the leftover coconut that I harvested. So it's a lot of coconuts or Nepal, Nepal palm, Nepal palm. I don't remember the pronunciation, but it's a lot just for a little bit. But let's add the other ingredients now. Some da, and we got some sugar. I don't actually like that much sugar, but I'll just use a little bit. So, no. And now, for nook. All right, samurai. Here is the final product. For those that have never been to Vietnam, when you do come here, make sure to try all the different types of juices that they have, since it's a tropical country with all types of fruits and vegetables that we don't have in other countries. There's lots of things you can try. This is one of them. And personally, I do enjoy it, especially on a hot day like now. You can see the, this, you can see the sweat on my nose. I'm, I'm sweating profusely. All right, let's try it. Yeah, I don't really know how to describe it. You just kind of have to try it. I know my Vietnamese audience will probably tell me I need to put a lot more sugar in it, maybe some salt. I'm sure you could even mix it with maybe like a Nook Mia sugar cane juice or some lime, whatever you want. But for me personally, I'd rather just eat the fruit as it is and then get like Nook Mia sugar cane juice or some other type of fruit juice. But these things grow everywhere and it's super easy to find. And after doing this today, it's not that hard to harvest. <laughs> And you want to make sure you get all the coconut residue because it's just extra fiber for when you go to the bathroom. But so here's the the palm fruit or water coconut fruit. Oh, soup sick. I don't know how well you guys can see it. But I love it. Oh, oh. Hold on, hold on. Me personally, I would just rather eat the fruit as it is. I don't know the nutritional composition of this. A lot of fruits in Vietnam actually try to find some of the information. And I can't find any resources talking about the nutritional composition of some types of fruits or animals or whatever that they have in Vietnam. Say something like sugarcane juice, for example. You can go online and Google it, but they're just websites talking about the health benefits or the nutrients in it. But I can't find any valid sources of like nutritional data published. It's just online magazines or just kind of basic websites. But for something like this, I have no idea. I would assume maybe some fiber, uh, maybe vitamin C. I don't know, since it's a palm tree, it's not actually a coconut tree. It will probably have a different nutritional composition than a coconut, but thank you. Nah, that one's better. It's much softer. Some of them are crunchy, some are softer. But for you guys, I'm gonna finish drinking this and actually we'll spend more time later today and tomorrow and probably next week chopping up these extra water coconuts that I have. And if you haven't already and you want to see the video of me shaving my head, I'll put the link below. And again, I will comment with my other YouTube channel so you guys can watch it. It's not a big deal, but yeah, my hair is gone. Make sure to check out my Facebook, Instagram, and other social media accounts. Put the links below. And for you guys, as always, have a great day. Take care and thumb be it.